if you guys didn't know, this month, five years ago, I actually went to Peru and Bolivia and I went to South America for the first time ever. And in this video, I'm gonna be giving you guys a review of G Adventures and whether I would recommend them or not. This was the first time I was actually gonna go somewhere and visit the place and not do any like voluntary work or anything. I was really nervous. I knew that I couldn't do it by myself. I wasn't confident enough in my ability to travel by myself at this point. And so I thought, well, a tour would probably be the best option. So there was, there's a few companies that do these tours, Intrepid, Contiki, but the one that I went for was G Adventures. They had the tour that I wanted to do the most. And that tour was Lima to La Paz. So here you can see on the G Adventures website. And I did the Lima to La Paz sandboarding and sunsets. I don't know if it was called that when I did it, but this is the tour that I did. It says we have multiple itineraries for this trip, Inca Trail, Laos Trek, Cusco Stay. The trip price doesn't change depending on the choice that you make. So either way, you're gonna be paying the same price. This is 21 days. It cost me 1,629 pounds. I feel like that sounds a lot, but honestly, with the amount that we did, I actually really think it was an okay price. Travel style is 18 to 30 something. So I think it's like late 30s they let you do this trip till service level is basic so that means it's like hostels and like lower rent hotels rather than like your luxury five star hotels etc a physical rating is four so that means we've got a lot of high altitude there you're going to be um, doing trekking and there'll be some strenuous activities depending on what you decide to do trip type is small group i think there was 18 of us in our group I would personally say that is a lot of people. So when they say small groups, really be wary of that. Make sure that their version of small and your version of small is the same thing because it may be different. I'm going to show you guys the route that we did. If you've seen my previous videos, uh, you'll kind of have an idea of what the itinerary was and what we did because I go through it all. If you haven't watched those videos, I would suggest going to watch them because it really, I really take you through everything in those. So the price, as I said before, was $1,629, which seems like a lot of money to fork out. You can see that they do pack in a lot in the small amount of time that we have. Just so you guys know, the flights are not included in these prices. Could you do it yourself in that same amount of money? Yes. Um, but you may not have done as many things as we did. There are quite a few extras that you can do. The ones I did was fly over the NASCAR lines, which was 93 pounds. I did zip lining and I'm pretty sure we did white water rafting, but I don't have any pictures from it. Those are the three. On the website at the moment though, it doesn't say that you can do zip lining. There are quite a lot of added extras and they all they range between 15 and 90 pounds. You also don't have to pre-book these. You can book them while you're on your trip too. If you want a complete price breakdown of the money that I spent while I was there, I'll put a blog post in the description of this video so you guys can see how much you'll need to take with you and what you spend while you're there that's not included in the tour. So I'm gonna break this down in a couple of sections. The group specifically that I went with and their tour guide and what he was like. I'm then gonna talk about the things I really loved about this tour. And then I will talk about the things I didn't like so much or the things that they could improve on. And lastly, I'll give you guys my overall thoughts as I said before, there was around 20 of us. Now, when I called G Adventures to book this call, I actually asked them, oh, what kind of people are gonna be in my tour? Is it like quite a good mixed group? And they said yes. However, when I got there, yes, there was a good mix of all ages, but all of our group was female. Now, there's nothing wrong with this. It was fun. We had a great time. None of us expected it. That was just my experience and something to be aware of. I personally, um, thought our tour guide was quite funny and I quite liked him, but others in the group didn't agree. They weren't too keen on him, but that's again, like a personal thing. Everybody has different tastes. Everybody is different. So, you know, just be aware that, you know, 
you're not gonna like everybody. <laughs> now let's talk about the things that I really liked about this tour. Um, I think I've said it a few times now, but I really like how much you pack into such a short space of time and the fact that you are guided everywhere. It is so easy, honestly. It is so easy to do this tour. You literally just have to show up with your stuff and they will take you everywhere. Your language skills don't have to be on par, but it does help. The other thing that I really like are the traditional elements that you get. So the seeing a traditional barbecue, the traditional dances, the going to see like traditional wineries and things within the Peruvian culture that maybe you would have missed if you'd gone by yourself. I really enjoyed these elements. The fact that our tour guide had knew his stuff like he if we asked him a question about anything to do with Peru he would have been able to answer us and if he couldn't answer us he would have found the answer for us and he would have let us know what it was. One of my favorite favorite um parts of the trip actually happened right at the start and that was the sandboarding and the dune buggy. Honestly it was the best time, even though none of us knew each other at this point, we were all kind of like becoming friends and getting to know each other. This was like one of my favorite parts of the drip trip because the activity itself was quite bonding as well. We were talking about it for a good couple of days after it happened. So now let's talk about things that I wasn't too keen on. The first one is a personal preference. I wish I hadn't spent money on the extra activities before I'd gone to Peru. I wish I had waited till I got there and then decided whether I wanted to do them or not. For example, the flight over the Nazca lines. I really wish I hadn't done that. I didn't really feel like it brought me enough value for the price. And also I felt really sick the whole time because it was such a small plane and I just ended up getting motion sickness. So it just, it wasn't a fun experience for me. The other thing that I wasn't really a big fan of was being forced to eat places. Because some of the meals are included, it does mean that when they tell you you have to eat somewhere, you actually have to eat, you have to eat there because you have already technically paid for it, um, which kind of sucked because it would have been nice just to have the choice. The, the one exception to this was breakfast. I liked that they did include the breakfast, most of the breakfasts. <laughs> and the last thing that I wasn't the biggest fan of is sometimes I felt like we were being treated like children. This was not all the time and this was not every situation. Some situations where maybe we did take the piss a little bit but on the whole, I think we were a pretty good group. I think we we really gelled well together. Now let's talk about whether I would recommend this trip and G Adventures. I think that's really dependent on the type of person you are. If you don't feel confident going by yourself and there are country, there's certain countries that you wouldn't want to go by yourself, but you don't know anyone who'd want to come with you, this is a really great option and even though people do say that it is more expensive to do a tour yes and no it can be more expensive but the payoff is better because your what you do is condensed and they've already got a proven formula of things that people want to see and it takes all of the work for you out of it the other people that I would recommend doing trips like this is people who have like a limited amount of time and want to do as much as possible in that limited amount of time. They pack so much into these tours, um, you barely have time to breathe, but also it's great because if you do only have like two weeks or a month, it means that you will do as much as you possibly can in that two weeks or a month. Um, I think if you are a competent solo traveler. It's not necessarily something that you need to do. There are so many hostels in Peru um, that and Bolivia um, that do like day tours and stuff that you can travel around to. So they are my thoughts. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope it's helped. I hope that you guys 
can go on a trip real soon. Let me know what tour you are looking at to do and with what company. I would love to hear where you guys are going next. Um, go DM me on Instagram and let's be friends. <laughs> Um, I love hearing from you guys if you have any questions or anything about anything that I talk about in my videos I would love to hear from you. My Instagram is at love from Keshvi. I hope you guys have a great day. I hope you have a great week. I hope you are enjoying life <laughs> and I will see you in my next video. Mm -hmm.